Hello everyone, welcome to our living room. We are excited to be unboxing and playing and testing and seeing how much we love Fisher Price's Linkamoles. Uh, so for those of you that don't know what Linkamoles are, um, Linkamoles are actually a toy by Fisher Price that help your child grow, help them learn and develop. They do different things between numbers and letters and um, colors and shapes and all of that. But when you get multiple ones of them together and you activate them, they become a larger chorus. They interact with each other and they all help count and decide what the different games are that your child's gonna play. There are tons of buttons, there are wheels, there are all sorts of stuff on it. Every single one is different, but they all complement each other. Um, so we did get one a long time ago. Um, it is the Sloth. We started giving it to him when he was really, really young. Um, and all you basically do is there are two sides. There's the music side and there is the ABC number side. And when you push it, it would go ahead and it would activate uh, what it was doing with you. His arms move. It's kind of like a miniature animatronic. And when he was little, he would just lay there and he would just stare at the colors that would come from the stomach over here. However, um, I didn't like the toy at first because it was the only Linkamole that we had. And for him not knowing how to push the buttons and everything, it was really short. Like when you would push it, it would only last a few seconds and then it would stop. So I had to sit there and keep pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. Little did I know if you have more of them, the action gets longer as well. And they talk to each other and they do everything and it would have been way, way more exciting. Um, but when you turn it on, it always makes this noise. And you'll see how he moves. So he's really, really cool. This is the Sloth. He is uh, counting and numbers, um, but he also does colors as well, and he has a little bit of a dance party. Then recently for Parker's birthday, you may have seen in one of our other videos, we also bought two more. We bought the Singing Bobblehead Moose, um, and we also bought him the Count With Me Koala. Now the Count With Me Koala is cool because it has a few different things that you could do with it. You could spin the shapes over here to see the different colors. The ear is crinkly. The buttons are all up the palm tree. Um, the belly does light up just like all the others. And like I said, you could spin this ball with a little rattle inside. This is uh, different from the others because this one is a bit thinner. It's made out of different materials. Uh, I haven't seen the other ones that we purchased yet, but out of the three that we've had. And this one also has a handle that you could carry it with. So that's been quite cool. Um, with the koala. The one thing I do notice about our koala, maybe I just have to put new batteries in it, is no matter how high you make the sound, he's quite quiet compared to the others. Um, very, very shy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but he is really cool. Him over here, our counting moose. This is actually one of Parker's favorites because it's small, so he could pick it up with him. Um, but it is literally just a bobblehead. It has nice, soft antlers over here. And when you push his stomach, that's when he sings and he actually does like a jazz trumpet solo and things like that. Um, so now that you've seen the three that we have, let's go ahead and let's unbox the ones that we've ordered. Um, our idea was to get them, it was actually Chris's idea, uh, to get them all and to test them all and see which ones Parker likes the most um, and see how they act when they're all one giant Link Most Chorus. The so there are the three that we have currently and here are the rest. Um, these are available at Target, Walmart. Uh, you can get them online as well. I've ordered some from Amazon, some from Target, some from uh, directly from Fisher Price. And that is because um, different ones are sold in different stores and a lot of stores are sold out. So let's see what we've got. So this is actually the Panda Bear. Um, it is the Play Together Panda. This one is just simply a plush stuffed animal. This prone was probably really good for when he was really young, um, but it teaches counting, shapes, manners, and kindness. So this one is right up my alley. For this one, you just push its stomach, it starts it all, and then he can carry it around with him. Um, when we actually go ahead and we take him out, this one will go ahead and connect with everyone that you see here. So you don't even see the beaver here. I'm pretty sure the beaver is the newest one out of all of them. But today you're going to see everyone that you see in this. So what I also love is that they have those easy to take off spindles. So you literally just turn them. It makes it so much nicer. And I never appreciated this, obviously, until I was a parent, um, to wear... You don't have to worry about scissors and um, different small tools. You literally twist and pull, and then you can get 
your Linkable's friend out of the box. So I definitely appreciate that um, because it makes it nice and simple. And there he is, here's the panda. Um, he does Velcro in the back and he has a on off switch the same as all the other ones. So we'll turn him off for right now so that he doesn't activate the others. So this one I'm super pumped about. This one is the Hedgehog. Um, so the Hedgehog is the Happy Shapes Hedgehog. He actually comes on a rope that you could pull him in. Um, and then obviously he teaches you different shapes, different numbers, different colors. He's got a twirly thing on the top. He's got a dial over here. Um, he's got a button that you go back and forth like a light switch. And he's got keys attached to the back of him. Um, he is activated, this is where his colors will be, but he is activated by the different buttons and that will go ahead and make his noise. And his switch is right here in the front. He's also on wheels. Of course, that's because you're able to do that. But the hedgehog teaches number, shapes, and colors. And look how cute he is. Little happy shapes hedgehog. Let's open him. But here he is, a little hedgehog. He is super, super, super cute. When you push that button, he lights up automatically. Oh my God, I love him so much. Look how cute. His wheels. And he's got... Oh my goodness, if you pull him, he talks and sings. He said, let's roll. I think he's my favorite so far. I don't know. We'll see what Parker thinks, but this is the hedgehog. Same type of packaging, but it is the otter. So let's introduce him. He's cute. <laughs> so he's the same material as the um, koala. A nice hard plastic, nice and durable. But he's got numbers on him um, with the alphabet and different things such as a koala or an elephant for E because he teaches first words, the alphabet and friendship. He is the A to Z otter. Oh my goodness, he is adorable. Let's get him out of the package. And you have your otter. So he is actually really easy to carry. He's very, very lightweight. Um, and he has his switch in the back, just like that. And he is activated by two different things. Of course, there's the ball right here. And then there's all of the different letters. Now, if you look here, he lights up around his stomach. So he's the only one so far that doesn't have a full ball, but he does have that outer layer right there. But he is so cute, look at him. So last but not least is the llama. And there he is. So he is actually super cool. He teaches stacking and colors. He's kind of like um, the donut rings that most kids have when they are younger. Um, so he is a, a few different pieces that come off, um, but they are transparent. So I'm wondering if, oh, when you push down on his head, the bottom lights up. So you see right here, the bottom is what lights up. Um, and then he'll interact as well. So let's go ahead and let's open him. there he is. So he is super cute. His head does come off. Um, his rings come off as well. Um, and then as you're putting them on, it activates a button and it kind of locks it in, um, but not really. You can still pull it off, but the button will activate another song. So that's cool. And his head does the same because there's a little button on top. So he is ready to go. So these all take double A batteries and they all do have to be turned on when you push the button in order for them to sing together. Um, but our chorus is just about ready. So we're gonna wait until dad gets home since this was his idea um, and Parker is awake from his nap. And then we're gonna have a dance party with the Linkamoles. So we will let you know what we think. So here they are in their animated form and here they are in their toy form. Parker, are you ready for your chorus? Sit down here with dad. The gang's all here.
dance, 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 dance. Whoa! Wow! What are you doing? Are you making a friendship circle? They're all introducing themselves. You ready, Chris? Dance! Good dancing, Parker! They all play a different instrument. You holding your llama's head? Are you cuddling the head of the llama? That's morbid. What do you got? What is that? Llama. Oh, they were all talking. Let's push a button on the otter. If you push a button on the otter, they all light up. Push the button. Oh, I love the panda. She said it's cool to be kind. Oh, and you're giving her a hug. Cute. Oh, kisses. I think the panda's my favorite. Yes, he will clap for that. Yes! Champion! Click, click. Click, click. Click, click, click. Whoa. Whoa, he's cool. He's like a car. That was good. He's cute too. Oh, you found the string. Push it. Good boy. Oh, hi gang. Whoa, good job. Do it again. Ah. Whoa. Hoo hoo, tip the hedgehog. All right, Christopher. You've seen them in action, and now it is time to rate the Linkamoles. Which would you say is the best one out of the seven? The Sloth. So Sloth is number one. Who would you say is number two? Panda. Panda. Number two. Three? Koala. Koala. Four? Llama. Five? Moose. Six. Otter. And then hedgehog and last? Mm -hmm. All right, so. So why did you vote for Sloth to be number one? Because I like his movement in his head and his arms. Oh, because he's like an animatronic, basically. All right, well, there we are. I would say that Parker is a big fan of the panda. He's a big fan of the hedgehog. And of course... His favorite will always be the sloth. Oh, but the others are really good as well. Apart from the otter. The otter's great! So I think final review, they are a huge success for any kid that is ages three months all the way to three years. Uh, they teach kindness, they teach friendship, they teach sharing, they teach numbers, colors, all sorts of different things. Uh, for those that are really, really young, they teach motor skills. Um, 
and they're just fun to look at and play with. So great job, Fisher Price. Thumbs up. Like my family.